frogs briefly treated with a five drug cocktail administered by a variable bioreactor were able to regrow a functional nearly complete limb for millions of patients who have lost limbs for reasons ranging from diabetes to trauma the possibility of regaining function through natural regeneration remains out of reach regrowth of legs and arms is the province of salamanders and the superheroes but in a study published in the journal science advances scientists at tufts and harvard university's weiss institute have brought us a step closer to the goal of regenerative medicine on adult frogs which are naturally unable to regenerate limbs the researchers were able to trigger regrowth of a lost leg using a five drug cocktail applied in a silicon wearable bioreactor dome that seals in the elixir over the stump for just 24 hours that brief treatment sets in motion an 18 month period of regrowth that restores a functional leg many creatures have the capability of full regeneration of at least some limbs including salamanders starfish crabs and lizards flat worms can even be cut up into pieces with each piece reconstructing an entire organism humans are capable of closing wounds with new tissue growth and our livers have a remarkable almost uh, flat worm like capability of regenerating to full size after a 50% loss but loss of a large and structurally complex limb an arm or leg cannot be restored by any natural process of regeneration in humans or mammals In fact we tend to cover major injuries with an amorphous mass of scar tissue protecting it from further blood loss and infection and preventing further growth the tufts researchers triggered the regenerative process in african clawed frogs by enclosing the wound in a silicon cap which they call a biodome containing a silk protein gel loaded with the five drug cocktail each drug fulfilled a different purpose including tamping down inflammation inhibiting the production of collagen which would lead to scarring and encouraging the new growth of nerve fibers blood vessels and muscle the combination and the bioreactor provided a local environment and signals that tipped the scales away from the natural tendency to close off the stem and toward the regenerative process The researchers observed dramatic growth of tissue in many of the treated frogs recreating an almost fully functional leg. The new limbs had bone structure extended with features similar to a natural limb's bone structure. A richer complement of internal tissues including neurons and several toes grew from the end of the limb although without the support of underlying bone. The regrown limb moved and responded to stimuli such as a touch from a stiff fiber and the frogs were able to make use of it for swimming through water moving much like a normal frog would. The researcher Nirosha Morgan says that it is exciting to see that the drugs they selected were helping to create an almost complete limb. The fact that it required only a brief exposure to the drugs to set in motion a months long regeneration process suggests that frogs and perhaps other animals may have dormant regenerative capabilities that can be triggered into action. The researchers explored the mechanisms by which the brief intervention could lead to long term growth. Within the first few days after treatment they detected the activation of known molecular pathways that are normally used in a developing embryo to help the body take shape activation of these pathways could allow the burden of growth and the organization of tissue to be handled by the limb itself similar to how it occurs in an embryo rather than recur ongoing therapeutic intervention over the many months it takes to grow the limb Animals naturally capable of regeneration live mostly in an aquatic environment. The first stage of growth after loss of a limb is the formation of a mass of stem cells at the end of the stem called a plastoma, which is used to gradually reconstruct the lost body part. The wound is rapidly covered by skin cells within the first 24 hours after the injury, protecting the reconstructing tissue underneath. Mammals and other regenerating animals will usually have their injuries exposed to air or making contact with the ground and they can take days to weeks to close up with scar tissue 
using the biodome cap in the first 24 hours helps mimic an amniotic like environment which along with the right drugs allows the rebuilding process to proceed without the interference of scar tissue. Previous work by the Tufts team showed a significant degree of limp growth triggered by a single drug, progesterone, with the biodome. However, the resulting limp grew as a spike and was far from the more normally shaped functional limp achieved in the current study. The five drug cocktail represents a significant milestone toward the restoration of fully functional frog limbs and suggests further exploration of drug and growth factor combinations could lead to regrown limbs that are even more functionally complete with normal digits, webbing, and more detailed skeletal and muscular features.